Guys, welcome to Ultimate Fighter Thursday recap, and we had Jessica Panay versus Isley Daly in this one. Um, what can I say? There wasn't too much going on in this episode. There wasn't drama. There wasn't name calling. There wasn't bullying like you normally see. These were two fighters who really kept their distance in this episode because they Jessica Panay, especially. Well, they both actually are kind of similar that way. They really like to keep their distance uh, when it comes to a fight with their opponent. And they really are focused on winning that belt. Especially Jessica Panay, who is kind of watching this episode. She's kind of a loner except with her friend. Uh, I don't know her first name, but her last name is Kush. Um, they, they, had a great, they have a great relationship. And Kush really is an, a joy to watch her. Because, you know, she does like to goof around and stuff and really bring Jessica Panay out of her shell. That's what I liked about this episode with Jessica Panay and that, that relationship she has with the other fighter in the house. Um, cause Kush seems like she's a great, uh, woman. She looks like she wants to be friends with everybody and there's really no, she's just fun and it'd be nice to have a beer with her, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, Isley Daly, man, she, um, she likes to, she's also kind of somewhat of a loner as well. She likes to keep her distance. You could tell that, being over here uh, at Vegas, not having her, you know, team, her squad, really took a toll on her. Until her friend, who is part of her camp, came and visited her, and then you saw her spirits, you know, really just rise up, and that was great to see as well. Like I said, there wasn't too much going on here. They go to the Harley Davidson store, and I believe after uh, if whoever they got to like pick. What bike they wanted if they won the whole tournament, pretty much. Or um, just really go to the Harley Davidson store and just in general. And that was fun to see all the girls have fun and everything. I mean, because this show is very, you could tell. You could tell there's so much tension in the house. It doesn't matter. There's so much beef, clicks, everything in this household. It was good, just a good to see, like, everybody just cool. Everybody not fighting or anything like that. Everybody just getting along, sort of, kind of. And really just enjoying themselves at the Harley Davidson shop. And there's some badass bikes, I won't lie. But you know what kind of bike I'd want. And that's Canada's bike from Akira. Yes, I would want that bike. Or the Tron bike. The Tron bike would be awesome. Well, anyway. So, basically, yes. They kept their distance. They didn't really talk to each other the whole episode. They really have no beef with each other. They just want to get things done. And we got into the fight. And you know what? The fight was... It was a slugfest. There was, and there was some groundwork going on. There was... Uh, Jessica Panay really can oh really close actually in the very first round there wasn't uh, I guess I would give Ashley Daly did take Jessica Panay down twice but it wasn't you know very impressive takedowns but Jessica Panay's striking is definitely much more accurate than Daly Daly loves has that unique kind of style when she fights she's very on uh, just everywhere honestly she's definitely kind of a brawler and it was kind of interesting watching this episode as well because she felt like the coaches were more on Jessica Panay's side and you kind of saw that in the footage where I don't know if it was intentional or whatever from the people who were filming but you didn't really see daily train with the coaches and she was really not working any game plan at all and you saw the coaches really working with Jessica Panay. So I don't know if that was the factor or not. If she really did work with some of the coaches. She probably, she, she, most likely she did. Is this, it was it was just very interesting. Her just seeing her punch the bag, go on a bike. Really nothing as much, a, nothing like a game plan or nothing like an overall training session that you normally see. Like Jessica Panay's. Jessica Panay's was pretty much in that cage all the time and we saw footage of that but we didn't see not a lot of that on daily side i don't know if also the atmosphere was 
in effect. But yeah, the first round was definitely a slugfest. Uh, Daly did land a couple shots, but Jessica Panay was just those accurate punches. She is a great striker. And then the clinch game, it was first round was mostly clinched. In the clinch game, they really uh, went back and forth on that. There's some good elbows, some good knees. Like I said, there's uh, Daly did take her down a couple of times, so you could have get gave Daly that round, and I think I did give Daly that round because of those takedowns. But it was super close. You could have gave that to Jessica Panay, and I wouldn't have had a problem with it. Second round was all Jessica Panay. She really put in work. She really showed off why she's really in great and might take this whole competition. Might because. There's still some flaws in her game, a little bit of flaws in her game, because she really did struggle with Daly. And maybe those, that was kind of her one opponent where, because Daly loves, the problem with her is she loves to take a shot. She'll take shots and then she'll counter. But the problem is she doesn't really have any knockout power. If you were watching the fight, did you really think that she was going to knock out Jessica Panay, especially when it went into the third round? I didn't see it. I mean, her punches were kind of everywhere. They weren't really that accurate, and when they hit, they didn't really have that much of a oomph to it. But you know what? Daly is a, I gotta give it props. She's a strong willed fighter. She takes a shot, she keeps going. She's like the Terminator, she will not stop. But Jessica Panay's shots and her striking is so accurate, so pinpoint. By the end of the second round, she had her on, uh, in the second round, she had her in the ground. She had her bleeding, her face was messed up. So after the second round, we moved on to the third round. So Jessica Panay got the second round, I believe, and uh, Daly got the first round. So we went to the third round, and it still remained like that. Jessica Panay was really, really just like it, it was. It was definitely a bloody, not a bloody, but it, it definitely was a slugfest in the third round as well. Uh, a few takedowns, a lot of clinch game once again, and. Jessica Panay just pulled it off. I mean, there's no doubt Jessica Panay won that third round. She really just really laid it on Daly. She had she had just overall a better striking than Daly. Uh, she had the ground game. You know, uh, Jessica Panay is very, very good on the ground game. So she really controlled the uh, ground game this whole fight. Daly uh, did have some reversals, but she just couldn't. She couldn't do anything. She couldn't do anything in the ground. She really wanted to stand up, and she really couldn't do anything standing up. She did, like I said, land a few shots, but they were ineffective. But um, Jessica Panay, yeah, controlled the whole. Instead of the first round, she did win those two last two rounds, and she moves on. And Jessica Panay is just. She's a beast, man. She's going to be very tough for who, uh, Carla or Tisha Torres. She does have that striking ability. She's an overall well rounded fighter. She knows what she's doing. She's focused on what she wants to do. And I just believe that you got to watch out for her. Was it the most impressive fight of the season? No, not really. It was kind of boring, honestly, towards the last few rounds. But it still was a credit to these fighters and what they do. Because, I mean, I thought Jessica Panay was... I knew she was going to win the fight. But I was, wasn't was going to be shocked at daily, you know... Uh, pulled the upset, but that didn't happen. But what a what a great fight, anyway. I mean, other than the last two, I was kind of bored, honestly. Yeah, but still, what a great uh, fight to see the see the true uh, spirit of Daly and Jessica Bonet because just because uh, Daly really did hang in there and really did take a lot of shots. But overall, uh, it was an okay fight, honestly. It was an okay fight, but whoever uh, moves on, whoever. Uh, Tisha Torres or Carla, you got to watch out because Jessica Panay is not kidding around. So I believe that I can't wait for the Tisha Torres and Carla fight, though. There's going to be a lot of good heated, a uh, little momentum there, a lot of just a lot of great stuff. But, yeah, that's basically the recap, basically my thoughts on last night's episode. Uh, not too much, like I said, not too much going on in this episode other than the fight itself. And the fight itself wasn't that entertaining, but it was good to see these two fighters really giving them, giving, give it, giving the, yeah, giving their all. There we go. So, thanks guys for listening. If you like this video, please push the like button and please subscribe. I make videos for you every single day. And like I said, happy Thanksgiving and have a good day.